Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and today we are getting deep, dark and mysterious as we wade into the unknown. That's right, I am talking the top 10 scary tunnels that people never returned from. So I got a question for you guys, do you hold your breath when you drive through a tunnel? I always do but I can never quite make it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll be responding to some comments from a previous video at the end of this one. Coming in at number 10 we have the channel tunnel. The channel tunnel is 31.4 miles long underwater and it connects the United Kingdom to France. The tunnel is recognised as one of the seven wonders of the modern world but the stretch has a dark history and an equally dark present. It seems that in the six years of construction between 1988 and 1994, 10 workers were killed, 8 of whom were British. The the tunnel runs between 50 to 75 metres below the sea which utterly terrifies me. I have actually taken the tunnel twice but I live to tell the tale. Good! There have been 3 fires since the tunnel opened which again really terrifies me. Aside from the 10 dead while the tunnel was being built, dozens of migrants have died in the tunnel as they try to cross into Britain. It seems that the death toll is now so high that train drivers are scared to do their job. Coming into number 9 we have the lost lizard people. In January 1934 it seems an article was released in the LA Times that mentioned what was previously an urban legend, a lost civilization of lizard people living under the city in a tunnel. What? It seems in Native American culture a similar story was also echoed. Some think that along with the lost lizards in the lost tunnel, there is also hidden treasure. To cut a really long story short that I would encourage you to google, it seems that a man named Schufelt x-rayed previous parts of the land and seemed to reveal three lost cities along the Pacific coast. This included the one that was in LA allegedly dug by lizard people 5,000 years ago. Okay. There are maps of the lost tunnel and everything. To me it all sounds very Doctor Who but that being said, the legend is enduring in LA today. Coming into number 8 we have the bricked up tunnel in Whitechapel. What secrets do the bricked up tunnel in Whitechapel London hold? If the name Whitechapel sounds familiar to you, it's because the historic area of England's capital city has a macabre history, most notably for being the site of the grizzly Jack the Ripper murders. It seems that there is a bricked up train tunnel in Whitechapel station and many people believe believe that it was the home of a rail route between the station and the Royal London Hospital. Why? Well, the answer is the corpse train, that's why. It seems that medics thought it was less alarmist and more sanitary to carry the dead to a morgue underground rather than through the already filthy streets. The name given to the stretch is the Necropolis Railway. This is one tunnel I don't fancy cracking open. I say that like I fancy cracking open all the tunnels. I don't. I feel like leave tunnels alone. Coming in at number 7 we have the Phantoms of Big Bull. Big Bull Tunnel is a rail tunnel in Virginia that was completed in the late 19th century. Two workers even died whilst building the tunnel, however that isn't the worst thing considering the era. However there is no accounting for the awful goings on that happened after the tunnel was built. It seemed that a man who entered the tunnel was found inexplicably scalped in 1901, but the biggest story surrounding the tunnel comes from 1905 when three men had a horrifying life altering experience. It seems that a freight train broke down out the tunnel and one worker hurried through to put warning flags on the other end as to avoid collision. Makes a lot of sense. What doesn't make sense is that he returned back to his two colleagues pale and shaken. He claimed to have heard noises that, I quote, no man could stand. His two colleagues went through the tunnel to see what was going on and it seemed that they heard groans and screams of pain. When they asked who was there, the replies came in and they were hair raising. One voice came from the darkness asking for a weight to be removed from their body. They said it was crushing them. Another screamed, they're drinking my blood. What that means, I don't know. The story ran in the Pittsburgh press and it seems many believe the tunnel is haunted today. Coming into number 6 we have the missing link. In Ebbeby in British Columbia there is a dark dank tunnel that stretches beneath a former grow up farm. Denise Orbertine whose 31 year old daughter Nicole Bell disappeared in 2017. He believes it could be a missing link in 2500 unsolved disappeared persons cases in the province of BC alone. It seemed that the dank and gloomy tunnel leads to a windowless room with a locked steel door. When speaking to the Star publication Orbertine said this tunnel has a lot to hide. Now it is said that Nicole was very 
very outdoorsy, so perhaps she walked into the tunnel. Another woman was found very, very nearby the tunnel in 2017. Did a ghost save three friends from getting lost in a tunnel? Find out at number five. We have the old Shashiki Tunnel. The old Shashiki Tunnel in Japan runs 1,424 feet in length in total. Now it is dark and extremely terrifying. It seems in July 2019, a group of friends entered the tunnel and returned with a scary story. The friends ventured into a pitch black century old passage at 1 am amid the witching hour. Two walked whilst one drove a car behind, videoing the adventure. It seems one of the youths felt his ankle suddenly pulled sideways, as you can see from this video posted on Twitter. The video went viral with nearly half a million views, and a fellow adventurer commented to say that the same thing happened to them three years prior. They even posted an image of a ghost lurking behind them. One commenter wrote, You must go and see an exorcist. The ghost was actually trying to stop you from going deeper, you should thank it. Coming into number four, we have the Blue Ghost Tunnel. The Meriton Tunnel is an abandoned railway tunnel that was built in 1976 to connect St. Catharines to the town of Thorold in Canada. Yes, the death toll during the construction was exceptionally high. 107 people lost their lives as they excavated the pass, mostly as a result of falling rocks. The tunnel is best known for a horrific tragedy which saw two trains crash head on at full speed. Both the firemen of the trains died in the crash. The tunnel was later sealed up but has been broken into by urban explorers who claim that they have seen a mysterious blue mist around the passage, which is where the tunnel gets its name. Some say that they have heard cries in the passage and many have reported feeling physically sick after their visit. Coming into number three, we have the Screaming Tunnel. The Screaming Tunnel is also in Canada, it's in Niagara, not too far away from where I am right now, and is one of the most famous haunted tunnels in the world. A lot of people enter this tunnel in pursuit of a ghost, but do all of them make it out? The urban legend goes that once upon a time a young girl escaped a burning barn and ran through the tunnel which was then filled with water in order to, you know, put herself out. Sadly, it was too late and she died there slowly of her injuries. Another version of the tale said that she was set alight by her father who murdered her amid a custody battle, and another says that actually she was killed and her body was set on fire to hide the evidence. Whatever the story, it seems that each year hundreds of people head to the tunnel to light a match. If the flame blows out, the ghost is present. You could also be alerted to her presence by some general screaming that's said to spill out from the passage. Fun fact, the screaming tunnel was used as a backdrop location in David Cromberg's 1983 adaptation of Stephen King's The Dead Zone. Really nasty at number two, we have the Bloody Pit of Massachusetts. The Hoosac Tunnel in Massachusetts at the time of its opening in 1876 was the second longest tunnel in North America, spanning 4.75 miles through the Vermont Green Mountains. 195 people died during the 24 year long construction, some of them horribly with their bodies buried beneath rubble. So many people died that the tunnel was nicknamed the Bloody Pit. Accidents involved gas fumes meeting the flames from lamps causing explosions. Tunnel collapses and flooding incidents also killed people too. There was at least one murder in the tunnel. In 1865, a worker who entered was found strangled to death, and the case was never solved. The many accidents and deaths that befell the construction led a lot of people to believe that the tunnel was cursed. Coming into number one, we have the Zanetti mystery. This is such a strange and scary story. It's gone down in history as somewhat of an urban legend. It seems that there was a shocking disappearance of over 100 Italian tourists on a train in Lombard. In 1911, it is said that a three car train called the Zanetti left Rome and travelled through a mountain in Lombard. Aboard the train were 106 passengers and several crew. Two of the passengers reportedly had a terrible feeling overcome them as the train chunted forward. In panic, they decided to jump from the train as it approached the tunnel. Now, I don't know about you, but I would need to have a serious reason to jump from a moving train. The remaining passengers on the train glided through the tunnel, which seemingly trembled and closed up behind them. Them. Weird. It was as if the mountain had simply swallowed them. The two jumpers survived and were treated for their injuries in hospital. Now it seems as if their lasting damage was psychological, as they explained that their last few moments in the train were filled with a milky white mist. The 104 other passengers were never found. There were some sketchy reports of 100 or so people turning up in Mexico speaking Italian.
Italian and seeming very lost and confused, but these are unfounded. So guys, that was the top 10 scary tunnels that people never returned from. Which do you think was the scariest? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Would you walk down any of these at night? Once again, I feel like I just want to leave tunnels alone. I don't like being enclosed. Before I go, I'm going to read some comments from the top 10 scary maps that will get you lost. Is got kills said, Rebecca, I love maps. Dora, you and me, we're going to the top. Yes, me and Dora are going all the way. You guys are playing my map game on Google Maps. Nicola Thompson said, at first I ended up in Antarctica and I was like, oh no, redo. Then I ended up in Wales. Great. Nate Goodman said, I landed in Canada. See you there. I have been there before, but I never met anyone though. What do you mean you didn't meet anyone? Did you not say hello? Maybe you can go check out some of the scary tunnels. There are a lot of them. Hufflepuff Angel said, I ended up in Thailand, which is kind of cool because I'd always want to go. I just wanted to say, Rebecca, you're awesome and I love you. All hail the Slytherin Queen. Although I'm a Hufflepuff. Do you know what? I feel like Slytherins and Hufflepuffs can be friends. I think it can happen. Let's make it happen. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. If you haven't yet liked this video, please go ahead and do so now. If you haven't yet joined our most amazing top 10 family, then do it. We're almost 6 million strong. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. Check out the links in our description box for further information information on the sources and of course to our most amazing Instagrams. Stick around, we've got a whole playlist and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!